we have the regulatory framework uh, you know uh, described by mr mahanta from sebi now it is important that we also understand how the exchange uh, lays down uh, the you know uh, the the rules that have been prescribed by sebi and uh, for that we have uh, mr m shishadri he is the head cyber and information security at national stock exchange and mr shishadri is going to touch upon the technology aspect briefly and he's also going to enlighten us uh, with various anecdotes uh, that he faces while warding off these attacks and uh, he, he has vast experience as a cyber security expert i i hand it over to you sir okay good evening everybody and uh, thank you for inviting me here so i'll try my best to justify uh, the time that i spend here i have a presentation but i think i will spend more time in answering your questions so i'll keep your presentation aside but i'll give you a few minutes of uh, what we do at nsc and uh, what you think you should be uh, preparing yourself for from a security point of view uh, one yes the regulatory framework is very comprehensive and very exhaustive and i think um, many of us are pretty good at managing that uh, pretty compliant as in one of the slides which mr mahanta showed uh, that ncipc has mandated uh, Uh, NSC has a protected uh, system uh, under the aegis of uh, the IT Act, and in that um, process, I think NSC and BSC are one of the first private sector entities and the first in BFSI to be declared as a protected system. That means that uh, for the capital markets and uh, for the exchanges, if there is any uh, threat or cyber attack. as much as uh, we step in to mitigate that the government also plays a role and gets its defenses to help us mitigate the attack so in a way that actually uh, is a very good uh, setup for us to and an umbrella for us to ensure that the capital markets are not compromised in any way uh, nsc is as you all know is one of the largest exchanges and it's also one of the highest targeted entities for cyber attack in the world if you want any idea just a glimpse of it we get about about 20 to 25 lakh attempts to compromise a network every day that is the volume of uh, traffic that we see now on our network and uh, thank god and that's all that we have never been breached that is the kind of uh, traffic and the target that we are across the world and it increases more so when there are geopolitical tensions that we are currently seeing and uh, we should be extremely careful uh, during these times covid the india china border issue and the others we also have various um, small irritants that keep increasing at threat levels even including a uh, india pakistan cricket match increases at threat levels because poor winds be uh, become the target for the other country and people are probing all the time to see what can be compromised they can across the network but never do it is uh, what it is we do also we we have a host of controls that we use to protect from such attacks and uh, i will not go to each one of them because they are pretty complex and may not may, may not apply to every entity or to your company so i'll try to simplify it for you uh, i think in uh, in my opinion if you are a small entity with uh, up to 20 computers uh, cyber security is not a challenge the compliance of circle is circular is not a challenge but there is some basic hygiene uh, practices that we all have to do any week and if you do that i think you'll be pretty much secure i will highlight probably five of them uh, if you don't have a internet facing application a website if you don't have a very, very complex system you just have a trading system and if a back office system and certain uh, supporting systems i think you can just do with five or six controls the rest will fall in place automatically and they are pretty well uh, protected one of them could to have all uh, software updated and patched of your your use license software if you're using windows and if you have windows 10 and you subscribe to the uh, defender service of microsoft most of your endpoint controls are taken care of you really have to, don't have to worry much about it another thing is you have to take care of your network segments if the people of technology are here they will understand uh, you have to separate out or uh, if you have need as your uh, trading application keep it in a separate segment your back office in a separate segment and use it in a separate segment 
three four segments should suffice your uh, requirements from a security point of view and uh, most importantly don't do personal work on your office system very important office work should be on office systems and nowhere else personal work keep it outside of these systems and most of your um, acts like virus and malware you don't really don't have to uh, worry uh, third thing is uh, very important again repeating it enable to set authentication it is by design and uh, this thing protects you from a lot of things a lot of it's initially an irritant but i think once you get used to it like these these days if you are going to banking website you don't really bother putting in the otp it's it's part of your uh, process any which way uh, the change would be a little bit of a challenge but i think it's enable to self authentication everywhere right from your operating system to your applications to your email i think you you are pretty well taken care of uh, fourth thing is i think you need to uh, enable monitoring so even if all these protect systems are uh, working fine and if some hacker is uh, pretty smart enough to breach your detection in your soc will uh, take care of that there is four or five things you should do 80% of the risk is taken care of that is what uh, i can talk from my experience nsc has a lot more because of its uh, nature of size and business but i think i will answer the uh, questions uh, during the q and a i'm sure you'll have a lot of them and um, that's it from my side Okay, thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, thank you for yes. highlighting the importance and uh, by you know stating the magnitude of attacks that you face every day, about 20 to 25 lakhs attacks every day. And in addition, during the geopolitical crisis as well as the India-Pakistan match, and very funny during the India-Pakistan match, the number of such attacks increases. Sir, uh, you have enlightened us about uh, the trading systems and uh, the importance of software updates and uh, importance of uh, segmentation of uh, the systems. other network systems and importance of uh, self authentication and uh, so we've heard from the exchange now we have a uh, representative from the broking community as well with us and uh, since uh, the brokers are trading on the exchange system and uh, they are also following the regulatory mandate given by the sebi the regulatory framework given by the sebi so it is uh, the broking community which is uh, you know implementing that uh, framework in their offices and uh, they may be experiencing some you know uh, issues in implementation and uh, and uh, you know the the issues that they face is uh, is what uh, we will expect uh, mr kamlesh shroff to enlighten us about and uh, mr shroff is representing the broking diaspora and uh, Mr Shroff is the director of Omniscient Securities and he is also director of Enmi. He has over 3 decades of experience in financial markets and Mr Shroff's views are regularly sought by various TV channels like CNBC, CNBC, Avas and um, NDTV Profit, uh, Z Business etc. and he also publishes uh, very often in the print media. With that I hand it over to uh, Mr Kamlesh Shroff. Uh thanks Vishal ji. Um uh, uh, thanks uh, anup ji from anmi our president thanks uh, bitin uh, mahanta and uh, thanks ishadri ji for you know uh, putting up the importance of the cyber security cyber resilience uh, framework of course we at the broking uh, uh, industries are quite uh, happy to kind of uh, get this uh, from the sebi side and handhold ourselves in terms of you know putting this into action but there have been some difficulties in terms of you know uh, actually uh, following all of this within the deadline and uh, but then we made a gist of it and most of us are conceptually fine to kind of go ahead and put it into practice and uh, you know uh, move forward on this i would like to kind of uh, make us i made a small gist as as put up by the 54 pointers of the sebi circular of december 2018 and which is to identify protect detect respond and recover so this is basically uh, something that that circular uh, is looking at and which has been uh, explained very well by my predecessors coming to the main point that is the snapshot of members uh, issues now while we were discussing with a lot of members um, the general mindset of the broking community at large 
leaf because we we kind of integrated into five different categories so when i say large as in in terms of the number of people not in terms of the volume that uh, uh, broking companies do the feeling was that you know we have a uh, regular uh, small shop which we are doing business so it's between for small and medium the feeler was that we've been doing business since almost 25 30 years and there have been negligible as far as cyber security threats or attacks but of course i do change after hearing uh, uh, mr sheshadri on the point that uh, almost about 25 lakhs to 30 lakhs uh, per day uh, attacks are uh, done fortunately that uh, uh, we haven't there have been never any kind of breaches so i do congratulate nse for that to kind of uh, be in the front of it but this was the feeler feelers that you know small and medium broking companies get second is is it really necessary to kind of uh, uh, go for cyber audits and etc when we are using the exchanges front end which is the now the best the bow uh, so it is or a need plus or a need so basically if you are using an exchange uh, software which kind of goes through uh, uh, do we really need to invest in uh, getting these audits and one more added compliance a, a, a small kind of post compliance one more in, in in an environment which is you know a little difficult nevertheless most brokers said we will comply if that is required we will pass through that ritual and surely we will uh, uh, work with it so there is there is nothing that it is uh, uh, that we don't want to do it the very fact that we want to go ahead and do it what kind of keeps them away from it is i think lack of awareness the feeling is that uh, most people are not aware of these threats maybe because a uh, uh, lot of these uh, reports don't come up now as i just mentioned 25 30 lakhs attacks on a per, per day basis is news to me too and uh, maybe a lot of people do not actually uh, report the problems that they have on a regular basis so crime reported should also be kind of used as an educative purpose which is i think low in terms of the representation uh, we need a lot of intensive hand holding training to get maturity of the larger community because i as as i mentioned earlier people have people don't feel that we don't need to go for it but the issue is that how do we go forward so uh, so that was so lack of awareness is something that i'm sure nism along with the exchanges and with us as uh, as as a broker body can kind of work in terms of putting up these uh, 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 webinars or seminars as we open up and at the point that point third is prohibitive costs so uh, another point is that of course uh, i would again put it for the small and the medium enterprise uh, where uh, where the cost is broadly uh, comes to almost one third of the asset so broadly if we kind of pick up a pc for say 25000 of course it will vary from from point to point but 8000 bucks on a yearly basis to you know uh, spend on all of these uh, uh, soc and msoc and etc is something that uh, is uh, uh, very kind of you know prohibitive in terms of the cost another issue is that uh, as uh, our anmi sub committee had uh, called up a dozen vendors of course from references points and etc at that point a year back at least we didn't have any empaneled list available uh, i'm not sure about it now currently but uh, of course uh, we tried the mis plus the another dozen brokers uh, and a dozen vendors so after that we figured that you know three four of the people and we gave a choice to the uh, members of course we get questions like can we trust this one's network can will we get the right services now those are the questions which and we can't really answer but we did give up four vendors whom they can connect to because of the deadlines coming closer uh, mi is also being part of that uh, just like my predecessor did mention that you know cyber hygiene is really important we also personally felt that uh, and we suggest to our members that irrespective of what you do but at least have that uh, 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 mentally preparedness that you know you need to have a password protection you need a two factor authentication as rightly said uh, uh, that office computer be separate from a personal uh, computer but in the current scenario yes we are using and uh, uh, connecting from your home into your office so remote connection is something which is also a serious threat as uh, we hear out that you know that can uh, if you don't have your antiviruses in place and it could actually you know uh, get in a lot of uh, uh, you know people trying to uh, breach in so that's uh, fourth point that uh, came in is that uh, one size can't fit all 
So basically, there are we have almost about nine members and and me members. Most of the top tier main brokers, which I would put it as uh, why I put this uh, uh, one one size. So it's like one T-shirt. You have all different sizes: small, medium, large, XL, and XXL. So maybe the XL and the XXL would have probably kind of uh, got their act together to some extent. But the small, medium, large are still kind of searching to get the right uh, person to you know get these things done. So and at the same time, they are saying that we've got maybe less than five computers or ten, twenty computers and uh, do we really, uh, if we are using the interface of the exchange, is it necessary, etc. Of course, your circular states that, that you have to because it's the internet that you use. So that is also something. So dif can differentiation be done based on client? Because a lot within the small medium are only prop traders. So they trade only for their own, uh, own this thing, for their living. And others are client businesses. So client business, yes, they are more critical versus the prop. Both are critical. But uh, a client, there is an onus to you know pay up to the client, and it's not their own funds. Versus your uh, people are only doing prop, and can can the you know audit and all other things be kind of reduced uh, as as the type three algo anyways uh, uh, has that audit in place. Uh, of course, there are 54 controls. It's a little complicated to understand. Thus, it's like a little slower than uh, the regular to kind of pick it up. Last but not the least is that. COVID-19 is here and uh, broken community and I think most, though we are considered as essentials, so we are running the business. Exchanges have been doing this fantastically, but we're all run basically at 10% or maybe not beyond a third of the staff actually is physically present there. Now, as far as, you know, audit part is concerned, uh, a lot of times physical verification is also very important and it becomes quite impossible. Like in Maharashtra, you have a two kilometer <clears throat> restricted movement so things like this until it fully opens up i <clears throat> it would be a rather difficult to kind of be by the timeline so the feeling was that if you know uh, if the timeline can be looked at at the same time no penalties are charged that was uh, a a basic uh, rationale considering after what uh, the modi ji pm spoke that you know it may take until diwali that you know things kind of uh, come to normal and no one knows really whether Diwali will become Christmas or uh, maybe move forward. So this were the feelings. So basically, I think uh, um, the whole issue is that I think people are ready to kind of go ahead and take this. And it's a great step in the right direction. But uh, the time frame may need to be looked at. With that, I uh, thank everyone and conclude my over to you, Vishal. Thank you, Mr. Shroff. Uh, thank you for highlighting the issues uh, that is uh, being confronted by the broking community.